stand among the pylons, beneath the cables that score the sky. Listen to the drone and snap of electricity. Ahead, the Sizewell nuclear power station. Dun-coloured concrete blocks and curved white dome stand strong and steady in a landscape that is ever-moving. The fields shake restlessly, bramble and gorse fidget in the wind. Above the sky shifts, pale blue to cerulean and back again. Sizewell is a pair of nuclear power stations. Sizewell A, here since the 1960s, is now in the process of being decommissioned. Sizewell B, completed in 1995, is the UK's newest nuclear reactor. Now plans are afoot to build a new reactor here, a decision that has proved controversial. It is hoped that together, Sizewell's B and C will provide 13% of the UK's energy needs. Down on the coast, Sizewell Village is not much more than a run of cottages, a post box, a pub. In this coastal light, its colours shine fiercely. A salmon pink house, a blue Subaru, orange boys tethered to white fishing boats. There is a scent of honey and salt carried on the breeze. Towards the beach, the grass grows coarse, bleached by the sea and riddled with rabbit holes. Small boats are piled up on the rise before the pebbled shore, foam on the shingle. Waves that are giants, muddy grey monsters that boom and jostle and writhe. For the last 40 years, this quiet seaside existence has been played out under the constant watch of the power station. There on the skyline, gazing down at the shore, peeping through hedges and out to the sea, amid the rich green fields of Suffolk, a silent unmoving force. <laughs>